Welcome. I'm Jason Steger. This is Dr. Patrick Flynn, and we have upon us very soon mm -hmm. the flu season. Yes. It's going to be cold weather, things coming up. We got the H1N1, different types of flu, stomach viruses, and everything that keeps kids out of schools mm -hmm. and people down in their beds. Yes. And I know from personal experience, um, I have two boys, one's seven and one's four. Mm -hmm. We've already had, even though it's been a beautiful summer, warm season, mm -hmm. I've already had my youngest, four years old, uh, struggled with 102 temperature mm -hmm. this year. I called you right away and mm -hmm. I'm like, Patrick, what do I do? You know, your kids get the flu, they get something, they get a fever. What do we do? Mm -hmm. We freak out. Mm -hmm. And so I called you and you said, good. good. I'm glad he's got a fever. And I'm like, are you serious? Uh -huh. And so what did we do? We gave him a little apple cider vinegar on his forehead and his feet, helped to, uh, to just manage it. But the importance of fevers mm -hmm. helps to, to build the immune system. Correct. As a matter of fact, it makes you smarter. Correct. After the fever's all over with. Yep. Also have a seven-year-old that I brought in to you who has had some uh, really bad struggles with intestinal problems stools that were hard, mm -hmm. rock hard. We know that that's not good. It's good to have that chocolate syrup, as you call it. Soft serve ice soft cream. Soft serve ice cream. Yes. Yeah, the syrup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that state comes and goes, yes. right? It's the chocolate soft serve ice cream mm -hmm. type of stool that you're looking for. You have done an amazing job with my son. I am personally grateful for that because he is doing great. And we're looking forward to a more successful time during this season. You've given us hope for this coming flu season. Mm -hmm. You've given us hope for the future. Tell us more about the importance of a strong immune system, how to get that. Yeah, well that's a big key because what happens is when you look at the changes that your sons have went through, it's not because we haven't done some miraculous things with them. Right. What we started to do, what we've talked in so many videos, is the fact that the reason why people have problems is because if their system was supposed to be working 100%, it's working at 50%. Yeah. And I don't care what virus it is, I don't care if it's just a basic flu virus, I don't care if it's a swine flu, I don't care if it's just a simple bacteria. Any of them can kill you in a heartbeat, mm -hmm. but the one thing has to exist there. Your immune system has to be compromised, mm -hmm. which means it has to be low, okay? So when we look at saying, how do we bring up our immune system? Well, you don't really bring up your immune system, you get it back to normal. Because what happens is when your body is, is made, we, you know, we, we, we have this fallacy that our body is made to be genetically with disease and sickness. That's not true, it's the opposite. We've been created to have, live vibrantly healthy. And that's when people come in and they say, oh my goodness, I'm doing so well, I'm so happy. It's like, that's where you're supposed to be all the time. You just don't know how to build your immune system. So what we're gonna do today, and we can actually use your kids as an example, is what we do to help get the immune system back to normal. Yeah. Okay, and so then now, because right now, what season are we coming to? Flu season. So, and you said the key word. You know how we get parents to do so many things? Not us, but let's just say our healthcare profession, profession as a whole is fear. Yeah. You call me up, nervous, scared, and I'm like, good. You know, and yeah. you're like, <laughs> freaked you out a little bit, but I'm like, he's got a fever, good. You know, that's one of the best health, because here's one thing. When you look at a fever, for example, I'll give you the simplest example. Would you ever wash your dishes in cold water? No. For what purpose? Because hot's better to do kill bacteria that's right simple as that and so what happens it's one of our number one defenses against microbes heat. okay that's right heat for example i mean even people that are patients that are watching us today sometimes when people get a fever i say listen throw them in a hot bath oh yeah you bring did. it that's yeah. right yeah and I, that's what i told you to do bring yeah. it up a little higher to kill off any microbes any bacteria or virus yeah. to do what to allow to assist the body to kill it off naturally mm -hmm. and the great part is your immune system is just like a muscle if you don't work it, it becomes very weak, right. okay? And the one thing, so we really gotta look and start with is where's most of our immune system reside, okay? Well, now when we look at it, a really good way to understand the actually whole flu season is post-summer. Yes, temperature changes, and yes, that causes our body to adapt to the change, but we really gotta look at what happens. We start to get into the holidays, so for example, we started in the holidays, what's the number one thing we do during holidays? Gather together. Gather together. So we have more exposure to different viruses. I had this example the other day, for example, that uh, let's say that I'm gonna go travel to Mexico, okay? If I drink their water, is it a possibility that I could actually throw up from it? Oh yeah. Get diarrhea? Yeah. Well, sure, because why? My body has not adapted to the surroundings there. Right. We have to stop looking at that something bad. Yes, do we feel like junk? Sure we do. Do, does a fever, did Sam feel good the other day with fever? No. He was he the same person? Wiped out. No, exactly. Not at all. But that's a body's adaptation to a new thing coming into itself. But if it goes through it naturally, 
that what I mean by naturally is without interfering with it. Yep. What ends up happening is it can now adapt to it, build immunity to it. Next time it comes in contact, guess what? He's going to fight it off. That's right. And you won't even know any symptoms from it that right. way. So we look at this. So let's look at where most of our immune system resides once it's mature. Yep. Well, that's our digestive tract. Okay. okay. The one thing that can affect our digestive tract more than anything is what? Food. Food. Okay. We're getting the holidays. Yeah. We have exposure to more viruses because we gather together. But on top of it, what do we eat? Sugar. That's right. <laughs> so we got Halloween. Yeah. We got Thanksgiving. Right. We got Christmas. Yeah. Where people only eat good organic food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where people are actually just pounding their body with sugar. Yeah. Okay. And the fact that is, you say, why is sugar our main actually aspect of it? Because when you drink a soda, do you know you cause your immune system to divert towards digestion so much that now the, the, the immune system isn't out fighting all little things that are in our body. Okay, that's why my, my analogy is, if you have a soda, it's like shutting down your immune system for three hours. Sure, it's like, like sidetracking the right. counter clerk so you can rob the gas station. That's exactly right. And so what happens is, so we gotta look at how can we start to rebuild our immune system? Well, we gotta look at how we've done to destroy it, first of all. Mm -hmm. We do sugar, we do antibiotics, mm -hmm. okay? And we never oh, restore yeah. those normal bacteria, we never restore the proper immune function that way. Yep. So the one thing you gotta look at, start eating more fermented foods. Mm -hmm. Start eating more proteins. Yep. I mean, proteins are essential. I mean, it, the AARP came out with a wonderful study about the fact that the amount of protein consumption elderly has gone massively down, mm -hmm. okay? Have you ever walked into the hospital and it says, do not come in here if you have a cold. Yeah. Because why? A basic cold virus could kill that person because of their, their immune system so low. Yeah. So we want to do all the things that we can do to start to build that up. Okay. Right. Nutrition's a great start. Okay. See your chiropractor. It's a great start to keep your immune system high. Mm -hmm. We also got to make sure we introduce great bacteria into our system. Right. Okay. That's why fermented foods or a good true probiotic. Okay. Kombucha. That's right. Kombucha. <laughs> it's a really good aspect that way. And all those things. That's why when you look at what's happening to your, the go back to Jack. Um, as you guys came in and said, listen, as you said, his stool was going to change. One good way to monitor your immune system is actually watch your stool. Mm -hmm. Okay, most people, it's dark, it's jammed up, it looks like a bunch of rabbit turds jammed yep. together. Yep. And it really should look like chocolate soft serve ice cream. Right. Okay, it gives you kind of a visual that way. Remember yeah. the old Jim Carrey movie yeah. where me, myself, and Irene? <laughs> <laughs> he goes to take, a, goes to take a, a bowel movement down the lawn, and all of a sudden you see a chocolate serve come out. I'm like, there's my analogy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect one, huh? And so what happens is if your stool is that way, guess what? You're starting to become immunocompromised. Yeah. And therefore, you go into a gathering at church, you go to a gathering at mm -hmm. friends, and all of a sudden somebody sneezes in California, you get the flu here in Green Bay. Yeah. Okay? So that's where we gotta look at. We gotta look at those things and how we can start to build that immune system, process that, make us stronger. So when we do get in gatherings, when we do go to other people's houses, when the virus, swine, anything comes to us, mm -hmm. our body has the strength to be able to fight it off, adapt, go through some elimination symptoms, a fever, a runny nose, maybe even throw up, which we have to stop thinking is bad. For example, if you drink a poison, trust me, you want to throw up, you want a runny nose, you want a fever to eliminate it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. not try to keep it in symptom wise right. because it will cause damage to our body. Right. So wrapping it up, we have the immune system being a muscle that we do need to really That's take right. care of. Mm -hmm. When we're not taking care of it, it can be diverted. Other things come in. Yep. They attack our body. And then we can just, again, the little clockwork thing, the yep. little we're all out of whack. Yep, you betcha. And if you want to know more about this, uh, email us. Uh, check out the website, which is The Wellness Way. Dot info. Thank you, Dr. Patrick, Richard. again. Uh, keep in tune because we got some great, exciting things coming up and we want your involvement. So once again, for Dr. Patrick Flynn, I'm Jason Steger.